That's good. Thank you, um, Is it ready? Good, uh, good day, Juan. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, well, we came out of the symposia, which was a great talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and uh, really good to see you. And I would like to ask you. Um, now that you know we have new products uh, now I would like to know how do you use these high protein hypocaloric products on your daily practice in your ICU and what benefits do you see in your patients so I have changed my practice quite radically now that we have a formula that better adapts to the necessities to the needs of the critical ill patient so I have essentially eliminated standard formulas because they provide too many calories and not enough protein. Mm -hmm. And I have moved into then giving a lot more protein and significantly less calories with a high protein, hypocaloric diet. I also use immune nutrition mm -hmm. uh, in my practice, but I only use it in the elective surgical patients after they come from the operating room. So those high protein, low calories, you use only for the initial phase or catabolic phase or you use it for a longer period of time? So I start as early as possible, but I go gradually up in the first seven days. Now, depending on the patient, because I have a significant population that is morbidly obese, I may continue this hypocaloric, high protein nutrition up to a month or more depending on the patient. Great. I, in those patients, because we don't have a lot of data after seven days, in those patients I am very careful and I monitor them very, very carefully. They normally will go into having a little bit of ketones, and they are measurable, but I will monitor their nitrogen balance and monitor their wound healing as a way uh, and, and their re rehabilitation, their physical activity, as a way of monitoring the muscle preservation and protein preservation. And what, maybe just a very short, what are the specific benefits that you've seen over time? So I see several very clear benefits. I see a metabolic benefit, so I see a better balanced carbohydrate metabolism. That is immediate. Right. The other benefit that I am observing is that my patients are not as hypermetabolic as they are with a conventional formula. So it appears, and this is anecdotal, it appears that I can get them easier off the ventilator. That I am, my patients are not as stressed mm -hmm. as when I give them isocaloric low protein formulas. Great. So now, knowing what you're doing, what do you think we still need to do in terms of research? Are there any gaps or products that you would like to see on your patients? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and I, I, there's a large number of gaps. I want to follow patients long term, see if we fill the gap after the first seven days what happens. The other thing that I want to do is I want to know specific nutrients and how we're going to give them specific amino acids how we should be giving them, um, and we should study many other things, including the benefits or not of carbohydrates. So I would love to, to do some work on that. So there's, the sky is the limit. We need laboratory data. We need numbers. Right. Uh, we need objective laboratory data. Right.